Hi guys, Tana here from Winnie and Mini Photography and today I'm going to show you how we edit together this two-part image to make the froggy pose. Okay, so firstly we're going to take a photo where we can utilize the top part of baby's head here and overlay it to remove the hand of the baby's dad here supporting her upright. This is the safest way to composite this image so that we don't risk any um, injuries to the baby. So we select it all in Photoshop, copy that image, go over to the next one and paste it on. And then over here, we're gonna reduce the opacity so we can see both of those image on top of each other. Command T on a Mac, and then I can move this around, this other image. And I'm basically going to just line it up as well as we can get it on the top part of her head here. I'm not too concerned so much about the eyes because I really want her um, hair lined up here. This image was actually composited really well. Um, the overlay should be really quite seamless. And then we're going to hit yep, tick the box. That's going to pop that image where I've asked it to go in a moment. We're going to bring that opacity back up to 100%. Down here you can create a mask. So that's called masking. Now this mask is white. So what I need to do first is go Command I is going to invert it. So now when I get a white brush onto a black mask, it's going to overlay just that part of the image that we were working with. So I can paint this all in nicely. I'm gonna up my brush here and make the size bigger. And then I can just blend out these sides a bit. You can see the lighting slightly changed because the dad's hand created a shadow, but that is okay. Now, I'm just gonna give a little bit more light through there, just a bit. So to blend in through the headband here, what I usually like to do is take the whole hairline and headband. That way you don't have any flowers that kind of um, don't line up or the bows don't line up or her hair doesn't line up. So I like to kind of break the um, two different images sort of in through the middle of the forehead. So now when I turn that on and off, you can see that looks pretty good. And then we are going to Flatten this, Command Shift E. Now with the edges here, all I'm going to do, you can either crop it off if you want to. I'm just going to Command Shift J or Command J to create a new layer and then Command T to free transform. And I can just drag that a little bit bigger and enter. And that is how you create the froggy pose composite. And now from here, I'll go in and touch up any flakiness on her skin, she's pretty perfect, um, and do my usual edit. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you enjoyed this quick video. Bye.